Hi, Kitty Pies. This is LaNikia, and I am coming to you today with another work from home video. Before I get started, I want to um, just tell all the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. What I like to do is give work from home videos, and then you guys get in the comments and say, um, if you've experienced this job before, um, have you, have you, you know, if you worked for that company, um, if you have any questions, um, you get in the comments and you can drop those. The link as always to the job is in the description box for you. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share the video for others. Um, and for those of you cutie pies that have been with, with me for a while, I want to thank you so much for, um, still supporting the channel. Okay. So I have a few shout outs before I get started. I, I, I will get in a minute. Um, and it's for Alan, Penny, Tori, Nikesha, Yvonne, Amber, and Lewis. Shout out to you guys for uh, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I know there was other ones because I can see the channel growing, um, but it doesn't always show me who subscribes to the channel. And I just happen to see those because, you know, sometimes when, when, when you're in the studio, you can click on the link and it'll show you um, the actual name of the person who subscribed to your channel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for that. Um, so the schedule for this month, for the month of March, I will be dropping a video every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Also, I will drop a work from home video every Sunday at 3 p.m. So Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, that's 6 o'clock um, Eastern Time. No, excuse me, that's 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, 5 o'clock Mountain Time. 4 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, 5 o'clock Mountain Time. So Every uh, Tuesday, I will be dropping at 7, 7 o'clock Central Time, and every Sunday, it will be at 3 p.m. Central Time. All right, guys, let's get into this job. That's only for the month of March. I might change it up by the time April comes, but so far for the month of March, that's when I'll be dropping the videos. Okay, so let's get into this job. It is called Direct Interactions Customer Service Specialist. Um, I really like this job. One, I like it because you can do it part-time and full-time. So for those of you who are really looking to do something and maybe you're like, well, maybe let me, let me just go part-time. And then if I like it, you know, enough, then maybe I can go into it full-time, um, you know, pick up some hours pick up extra hours. Now, I will tell you this about this job. It is work from home, of, of course, but it um, it starts out kind of like kind of like an independent contractor where you're just kind of working. And then after, um, I believe, 90 days, it's 60 or 90 days when you've been with them, you can actually uh, start to, re, you know, go into your benefits and everything. So it is a W-2 job, but you have to be there so long. Now, I don't know if those benefits apply if you're part time, because typically if you're part time, you don't get those kind of health benefits and everything. So I don't know if they would apply. I think you at companies I worked for before you at least had to work 30 hours. Now, this is a um, they they offer a few chats, emails, and more, but the majority of the opportunities with them will be handling, um, will be handling business to business calls, um, and customer service. It's, they say it's not telemarketing. So I guess you're setting up, you might be setting appointment. I don't know exactly what you're going to be doing. Setting appointments because they, they don't tell you what it exactly is. They're just saying it's not telemarketing. So, um, so I, I, but it sounds, I mean, it sounds like cold calling, <laughs> but they're saying it's not that. So I, I don't know. Maybe um the people it's warm, it might be warm calling. And if you can get a warm calling job, that's better than cold calling because cold calling is horrible. I mean, you, I, I can do it, but I don't like to, I would at least like it to be a warm call. Um, but anyways, they're looking for people, even if you haven't worked in customer service or insurance and everything, they're still wanting people because it, because they can still train you up. Um, and they say you have to go through a few onboarding assessment phases to do this. Um, their, their requirements are excellent verbal communication skills, including correct grammar and ability to remain calm under pressure in a fast paced environment. Because, you know, when you're on the phone at home by yourself, you're going to need a fast pace. Oh, let me, um, before I go any further, um, 
Calif if you're in California or New York, they are not hiring for the, your um, your states at this time. And I don't want you to keep watching the video <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it didn't even apply to me. So California and New York, they're not hiring in your states at this time. Um, just basic stuff that they want you to do. So let me tell you about training. Training is done virtually, of course, and will consist of a virtual instructor-led and self-paced learning. I don't like these trainings, but I do. I don't like them because sometimes being self-paced is, it's hard because you have to motivate yourself to do it. But I think it's better, but I, I, I do like it because if you're self pay, if it is self paced, then you can do it at your own time. Because sometimes when you get in classes and they're like, okay, we need you to start. We're going to be training Monday through Friday and it's eight to five. There is no wiggle room. You have to be in that training. So when it's more self paced learning, um, I think that's better. Um, you must first attend an orientation session. They say testing nesting spans across six days and is paid. So that's good. They pay you for that. 100% is attendance is required in all phases of onboarding. Um, so orientation and training are both mandatory. Orienta orientation date and time to be determined. Typically it's on a Monday and it's one and some one hour session. That makes sense. Uh, training dates and times to be determined. Um, it would probably be a Tuesday through Friday, six hours per day. And so to be paid, that that's actually pretty good. Uh, training continued dates and times to be determined. It would if training is spilled over, it would be on that Monday and Tuesday of the following week, six hours per day. And this is not dead set. They say they're just letting you know how training schedules could possibly look. The pay rate is fifteen dollars an hour. Remember, we're trying to go for higher paying jobs and not accepting anything under fifty, at least fifteen. So um, pay is $15 an hour. You are paid uh, bi-weekly via direct deposit. I do like that because you know how sometimes they'll be like, um, the first check is mailed and then after that you can do, do uh, direct deposit. I like, go ahead and put mine in <laughs> in the bank. Um, you They are offered for employee benefits. It is PTO. Health, medical, and dental plans are available after 60 days of work full-time. So, yes, it is for full-time people. You have to have worked at least 60 days to get this. Insurance will only be available to those to those that work over 30 hours weekly. Okay. That's not bad. And that's, a, that's about what everyone does, 30 hours, and you can start qualifying um, for insurance. Now, I wonder if that's PTO as well. Be uh, uh, what? No, no, no. You'd be part time and get a uh, gain PTO, accrue PTO. You just don't gain as much, um, if I can recall. Because I've been doing 1099 for so long um, that some some of it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, shifts. So agents must be available to work at least 20 hours per week within the hours of operation noted below. Your initial schedule will be, will be finalized every Thursday. Hours of operation for the program are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. Oh, that is not bad. That's 7 to 4. In Central? Mm, that's not bad. Okay, 20 to 40 hours per week are required. You select availability um, of when you can work. So it looks like you got to work at least 20. It is required to you to at least work 20. So if you're wanting part time, this isn't one of those where you can, you can work um, 10 or 15 hours. You got to at least work 20. Um, six hour works. Six hour work are required. Six hours are, of work is required every Monday. So you have to work six hours on a Monday. And, you know, I, that makes sense if you're doing um outbound or if you're in, taking calls then that makes sense because Mondays are like y'all know being in, working in call centers Mondays are crazy because you log in and people are always already waiting on you like you can never have enough people work on a Monday um full-time and part-time shifts are available uh technical requirements high-speed internet and a computer running microsoft 10 operating systems no windows 7 or 8.1 a usb headset with microphone and mute button <sighs> google crawl I, I, I remember i used to work for this job and they didn't want you using your mute button and i'm like why not <laughs> like because they really wanted to hear if you had background noise i'm like please i'm muting this uh google chrome or internet explorer browser um 
8 gigabytes of RAM or higher. A second monitor is not required, but strongly suggested. So, and Kurt recommended. So that means you're going to be working with dual like applications. A smartphone less than three years old used for our programs. Okay. Uh, used for the program's authentic authentication process and not for work authentication process okay so yeah they're probably gonna um sometimes when you're working from home they'll authenticate you by sending a code or something and you have to put it in the system um okay now if they say if you are selected it is based on you successfully completing a passing background check and a technical assessment of your PC performance by their tech team. Um, Apple computers and Chromebooks are not compatible with their client software. Sorry guys, uh, there are never any fees associated with applying for our direct interactions and we are not hiring in California or New York at this time. All right guys, so that's the job. I don't know, it doesn't sound like that bad of a job. So um, go ahead and apply for it. I know I am. Best of luck to you. And if I apply for it, I'm going to apply for it. And I'll just let you know through the process if I get it or not, because I am looking for something um, that is W-2, um, you know, just for extra. So like the six, the, the six hours on a Monday, and then if you work in 20 hours, that leaves you only with having to get 14 hours. That's not bad. All right, guys, I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, let me know if you apply to this job. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.